Hey everybody, Will Henson here, designer for Global War 1914. Today you're going to be seeing us play test um, Global War 14. Global War. I mean, we're we're not just doing your doing the entire uh, the entire globe. 14 and we're talking about random events that are going to bring in even possibly South America. So this is truly a global game. It's going to be designed to tie to our other brands of global games where you can play this. And hopefully the dream is one day bridge on to uh, 36 and beyond. So what we're hoping to do is to be able to tie our family games together so that you can never have to stop playing Global War. That's our that's our goal anyway. This is going to be pretty exciting. This is the third time we've run through a, a full play test of this. We've got a lot of guys here from all over the world. We introduce the guys. Sure. We've got Morton and me. Greetings. Hello. And we've got Aisha, Banana Republic, and Holland. Netherlands. <laughs> and we've got General Hand Grenade here, otherwise known as Brian. And of course, um, Bob's designed East versus West and some of our expansions. He's working on diplomacy. Um, Bob, what are some of the other games? Uh, Kursk and Unthinkable. Um, Operation Unthinkable Operation is available on our website. And, yeah. And uh, we've got uh, um, Morton and Misha have been very instrumental in 36v3. And Misha's over here. Can we get a, a shot over here real quick of, of 62 just to whet your appetite of what's coming out and what we're working on here in Designer Weekend? Lots of cool stuff over here from transport direct launchers to T-72s. Um, this is just in concept development, but you can see um, what's going on here. We're going to be live streaming all day. We're going to be taking questions on the camera. We'll get to them when we can. Um, you can listen. The audio is going to be great to listen to. Sometimes the camera will just be on the map, and we'll be explaining the rules and stuff as we go. Um, we got people on. We do have some, uh, some folks on. Yep, we got uh, Trick Magnet on there. Trick Magnet. Okay. I hope the sound's okay. So is That's this, the sound, Trick Magnet. Is is the sound okay? Uh, Wasn't that, wasn't that your nickname in college? <laughs> <laughs> no, he was Chick Magnet. Chick Magnet. Chick Magnet. <laughs> Chick Magnet. Okay. That's right. All right. So we're gonna we're gonna get started. Said, at, a good yeah. Um, so good. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna try and play quickly. Thanks, here Chick and, Magnet. And really, we're gonna start, and I'm gonna walk Doug through the first turn. Before we do that, we've got two things to resolve. Um, the first thing we need to resolve is our random events. Um, so we've got a random events that we're gonna we're gonna roll for nine fourteen, um, and uh, some brave soul is gonna be re rolling our die twelve for our random event right now. Anybody? Oh, All right. Oh, deal. My job. All right. So, so we're gonna roll it, and I'm gonna read the random event for the dice here. We got uh. <laughs> 12. 12. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Just get out of one. Going. Maybe. Okay. It could I'm, also be a I'm, five. Hey, listen up, everybody. <laughs> listen up. This is important. Yeah. It's okay. okay. Um, U.S. banks extend war credit to the Central Powers and the Allies. Okay. Um, Elijah. Britain up to seven, France up to three, Hungarians two, Ottomans two, Germans six. Um, if the central product credit totals 10 or greater than the allied credit totals, reduce U.S. entry die rolls by, by minus two. What does all that mean? What that means is that the U.S. banks now lending credit equal, um, proportionally to allies and um, to allies and central powers. Okay, and you have credit limits. So. If you start taking that, um, and the the and the central powers start getting more credit than the allies, um, then 
it reduces the U.S. entry rules. Uh -huh. You should be looking at your victory conditions and things like that. Because, I read mine. Okay, so um, that's going to give you extra money every turn. Okay. How much? Money well, really I'm going to read it again. Britain, seven. France, four. Russia, three. Austria-Hungary, two. Ottomans, two. German, six. Is that to the that's, end of the game? That's like extra money that is war credit. End of the game? Till the end of the game. So, so our income goes up, up by so, that. Wow. That's now, huge. but you don't need I to take the credit. Well, you don't have to take the credit. So there's some. Is that every? Take the credit. I'm gonna stiff you guys anyway at the end. So, um, so is that every turn or is that? Yeah, every turn to the end of the game. So what that, if you take the credit? Is that? Well, let's look it up. Um, this this where's the U.S. sheet? Who's one? got the U.S. sheet? I got the U.S. sheet. Okay. Good credit, bad credit, no credit. All right. Come to the U.S. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a victory condition thing. Yeah. I played the U.S. So I drag your vehicle in. as well. So my bank scanner. For one more credit. Fifty to the alliance that won the game at the end of the war. So the U.S. has a victory condition to be on the winning side of the war. Now that's going to influence how the U.S. plays the game, because if the U.S. starts to see the central powers, the U.S. can cut off. The U.S. The U.S. banks are lending. You have to understand this. This isn't U.S. backed treasury bonds. This is U.S. banks getting themselves in hot water with. It, through the financial credit system. And this has happened. So all of a sudden, the U.S. banks, without the U.S. government's um, permission, is starting to lend. And all of a sudden, the U.S. player has a victory on the line because of this. Cool. Okay? So this is what happens. This is this is what was going on at the time. Is that explained in the rules? Well, that's no. not explained. I didn't give a history lesson in the rules. No, I'm just saying it's but, like a 10 minute or a random event. We might need to streamline it a little better. Well, I've read extensive history on this. No, just I'm, so is, will I, everyone understand that in the rules? I don't know if everyone will understand it in the rules, but we can certainly write it into the rules. So, so Will, just one question. Yes. So if the victory condition is, is 50 credit, so we need to keep track of whatever. Yes, we need to keep track of the 50 credits. Okay. So whenever someone takes credit, we need to add a file so that we know how many. We've got the American flag uh, roundel in there. We could keep it on, on the yeah. table there. Yeah, good. good. Uh, we, we've got a couple of different uh, U.S. Uh, marks. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so it looks like right now. Valves, but it looks like right now, yeah. you know, there's. I can write on this anyway. But maybe we should not put it on the production chart. But you just tell me. I keep track of it. Why don't we just see where I'm player. the U.S. I have to register my banks and see what you are taking. Yeah, so I'm, right I'm going to do that. He's going to be motivated to back the person ah. who's taking the most he, credit, right? He's, well, he's going to be back. Um, he's going to be, let's say the central <laughs> powers start winning. He might be like, 42, oh, 26. I'm going to lose a victory point. Now he's got four more credits to the allies than to the you know wow. those is it good to is it good to borrow money or not borrow money Just tell me so that. are there victory conditions tied to your borrowing of money on the sheet no okay not, not, not that i see but, but does say we, anything about borrowing all right money. so i think it, i think we might need to change some victory conditions around to about the war debt you end with maybe we do another random event guys just bear with this me. is this is very but, good, cool. Yeah, well, and I think it's a good I, thing I, uh, in America. And I see the background. Maybe that's um, what's missing on my special rules, because my there, sheet's there's, very there's sparse. Nothing, there's nothing missing on these. These are designed small, fast, faster playing. It's not designed to be 36. Um, but it, you would think that it would tell you how much money you could borrow on here. Yeah, yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna have some credit stuff. So um, in. I want to play I, this. I have a and then I yeah. think I heard with that Russia. One with can you Russia, I can take grab three me the pen over there? Sure. Yeah. Uh, um, 
I want to take credit to influence America to do more and better. Right? I think it's through right? before you sit like, down. Like I influence America. So right there. Just, just pretend that there's yeah, some sort of walk. victory condition in here tied to the amount of credit you end up owing the U.S. Good How much can I borrow against France? Right? Um, it doesn't matter for anyone. It only matters for the U.S. Well, I think there should be an well, amount. I have a victory condition. That's, yep. That's, but uh, if I if I'm more indebted to you, you're going to be more on my side if I understood it right, right? So I kind of want to borrow yeah. from you to make you my friend. Yeah. Yeah. You want to be on the winning side, and you're getting money. Um, so okay. So we're gonna we're gonna play with war credit a little bit, but the whole reason the war credit's here is because the U.S. is completely boring to play unless it's doing something. And what it was doing was financing the war and, and playing with the credit markets. Okay? Just roll with it, guys. Just roll with it. We're, it's not going to be perfect. This game is it's, How much it's can to I be borrow? developers and to, and to engage with this. What? How much can I borrow, friends? Okay, let's read it one more time. I think I'm three. Okay. Everyone write this down on your sheet. Britain seven, France four, Russia three, Austria-Hungarians two, Ottoman two, German six. I'm gonna put a big two in. That's it. Part two. Italy's not playing yet. We are not. We are not having an Italy. The next thing is gonna be the UK player. Okay. The second thing that happens on the very first so turn. Tomorrow seven. Is, is the resolution of China entry. Okay? So in 1914, at the very start of the war, China requests to be an allied nation. The British player can accept or deny this request. What are the consequences? I'm about to read them. China, if you accept China, China becomes an allied nation under control of the United States player. Only nationalist China participates in this. The rest of the areas are effectively independent. The um, the warlords. Do we have warlords on here? Uh, the so, warlord Rondos. The warlord Rondos on here. We need those. All right. Um, Japan may never join the Allies. And Japan, if it's a player, loses one victory point. If you deny, China becomes a neutral nation and does not participate in the war unless attacked. It can be influenced again in the spring of 1917. And Japan will join the Allies. Japan is more powerful. Um, it is the usual choice. Hey, Will, let me, let me clarify. So yeah. if we borrow this amount of money into right. the game, and it does hurt us in any way. You get it every turn. So Why wouldn't you borrow it? Uh, can you say, can you buy but, but I But I, I want you to play as if there's a victory condition to 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 um to be in less debt at the end of the game. Soft, right? Well, at the point, I think at a no, certain point, but events, a lot I of will track going through this. How many war credits each player takes every turn? Because it's that I have a victory condition depending on that, so it shouldn't be automatically on the production sheet. Why not? I just explained because I have a victory condition. I cannot keep track if you do it there. Yeah, but I, we need to keep I, can, track. I can keep track for drawing my funds, and I want to track. I track all my bonuses on but, the IP chart. But you have to tell me each turn what seven. you are taking yes. as a credit. So you're Four. taking seven, seven at each. infinitum. But I'll, I'll, I'll ask you guys later. So we're going to look at the credit process okay. a, little bit, a little bit more on the rules as we go. Um, Makes perfect sense. I'm but, sure. I wasn't disputing that. But uh, uh, I, I think there should be some sort of there should be some sort of uh, a negative victory condition if you end up with a lot of debt at the end. Little Excel sheet with So a lot of debt should be bad. Okay. Right now. So at the end of the game, we'll debt. Or okay. I just give that makes sense. Do you have a Maybe. so we can stop borrowing at some point in time? Yeah. So, so let's say you know your debt that. exceeds your yeah, but I have to keep track. So your your total income income by a f factor of two or something like that. 
So well, there'll be there'll be a debt to income ratio. That's what I think it should go with your income. Con concerning the if you can take a lot of territories, great. If not, um, let's just see at the end of the game how what our debt looks like because maybe it's one to one. Right, let's if your debt exceeds your income. Let's track your debt. Your no, no, no. I'm not. Okay. Right. I'm making so it. You choose easy. China or Japan. Oh, uh, that's Bob's choice. He's uh, Britain. Oh, he's Britain. Okay. Oh, what's the choice? Do you want China, China or Japan, Japan on our side? He said people usually take Japan. He says they're more if powerful. You, if you accept China's request to join the Allies in 1914, then Japan will not join the Allies. Um, if you, and then through random events, it could join us. Um, if you accept it as a, uh, if you accept it as a, um, as an ally, then then Japan is, um, is now a member of the Allies. Hey, what are you saying? Who do you like? Those little bastards are going to be a problem. Who are these guys? Oh, you're Britain. So, to the other side? China. To the. Yeah, uh, a, that, yeah, um, I think there are events that would push them in that direction. Yeah. Right here, right? Yeah. They can't but, get across uh, the Himalayas. They have okay. to go. And then let's go for Japan. Then. Yeah, I'm thinking Japan. Okay. So, we'll Maybe. give you the Japanese. Oh, am I playing Japan now? They, they were really close allies so, of the British. So, so Japan does not. I've seen that movie you don't have to worry right? about the um the their their goals. They're cheating there, little boy. Worry about yes. their goals. First, you know, they're not an independent Please. player. Is there a box for Japan? Uh, yeah, they're orange. They're the uh, over there probably. Oh, here they are. I'm pretty sure that's that. John, thank you. A good color for them, too. I did mine in yellow at home. Works pretty good. Okay, too. so there you go. Um, Doug, have you bought? Nope, I was waiting on you. Well, you should be Who's waiting. You bought already. Everyone should uh, be buying Bob. right now. Bob? Where's the cost chart? Who's place from? Good question. Where are things? I mean, what are things from? Brian, cost? you play from? We have a play chart somewhere. All right. So, and I, I can, uh, I can oh, throw in my work credit right away for my PC. Okay. PC 13. So, everyone should buy. Here's Automan. <laughs> um, it's a word, it's a plan. It's Automan. <laughs> well, uh, Automan. Well, <laughs> <yes. laughs> Sorry. Uh, Don't underestimate. Uh, what's the number of infantry we're allowed to buy in our game? Okay, so here, real quick, everybody. You may never buy place more infantry from here to here, but you have a maximum yearly manpower allotment. This is an optional rule. And that number is on your reference sheet. It should say manpower somewhere on there. Yeah, mine's 41. Yeah. Does that number yeah. ever go up or down? It, it will go up if you align new territories. Okay. Not capture them, but align them. It will uh, go up, and that will go up by half of what you align. So if you align, let's artillery, does that take away from your manpower? No. No. That Only infantry class units will take away, and a factory will take away from your manpower. Um, would, Only what? Would two. Yeah. So you could buy factory. No. 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 Okay. Um, uh, guys, just one question about the credits. Are you all taking the full amount? Yes. I'm yeah. taking my. Three. Everyone is taking the full amount for this first oh, time. Okay. Uh, Press needs some walking around but, money. But do you want collect turn? So as uh, as Russia right now, oh, I so can. You yeah, you, I can't you collect them on right. your collect income place units face. Just let me know if you lower Stop. it. Everyone Stop. on your turn when you take them, you tell you 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 request them from the U.S. player. Yes. Since, uh, since we're I, buying right now, is my factory production these little gears? Yes, just like in twenty five, that's the n total number of units you can place. So I could buy like artillery, but and buy one unit, and there. buy one unit there. And the manpower you can place wherever you have manpower, I believe. Let me check out the place. Really? So I could uh, I could place units right up front if I wanted to. They're like recruitment centers. Cool. Um, will. Do 
And uh, who goes first? Germany? Mr. Friend does, yeah. Where is the order of play? Is it on here somewhere? It's yeah. down there. So, so what's the order of play? Germany, oh. Britain, Austria, France. So I go fourth. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Okay, here's here's another rule. Don't give Auto Man one. Thank you. All right. Um, Splunk. <laughs> Cost some units. Any nation may request to purchase arms from the United States. The player places an order during their player turn. Gives the U.S. player the money for the unit they want, and the U.S. builds it during their turn. Um, it counts against the U.S. factory limits, and the U.S. player gets one PP off each sale. So if you want, if you want to buy them from them, you can. Uh, buy what from them? Sorry. You can choose to use their factories, and then they will lend lease it to you. Do I have a say about that? As the U.S. player? Yes. Yeah, you can say yes. I can say yes, or I can say no. no. And the I U.S. may choose to extend war credit to allied nations as well. I think follows. we picked and the wrong guy for American player. The U.S. build in a specific kind of unit, and the U.S.A. does so and delivers it through the lend lease process. The value of the unit is tracked as war credit. Okay. So and right now you can build them. I, I think the, with the with the, the random event, you can you can also do that for. And do I have to say in the credits too, or is it just my banks? Of, it's your banks. It's my banks. I don't have any say. Anything. Not yet. I think it could German change sub over the course of the, be the thing. I know it's confusing, guys, but we're just like, work. we're going to roll with it. It's going to yeah, be fairly yeah. fluid today. Is, is it no problem. Okay. We're um, so. okay. yeah. When saying, you buy, yeah. you put your units in place in this map, box of the map. Um, units developed from advanced technology are placed at a factory. Infantry you can place where there's a manpower icon. You cannot place more infantry class units than there are manpower icons. If you build an infantry class unit outside your own country, it costs an additional IPP. So you could basically build, you know, colonial infantry or whatever, but it costs you an additional dollar. Cool? So, Doug, you are buying... You also have the option as where are the, buy. Uh, where are the candles? They're not on the Doug surprise. You also have the option to do diplomatic influence for one IPP each. Okay. You have technology as well. So Mr. Where surprise, or how much are camels? Where do you see like? Uh the technology. Um two, two IPP? Let's talk about are they gonna be so we can write them on our sheets. I, I should be quick reference. Somewhere is it 450 a pack? I think it should be Cavalry, right? With the difference that they can move in deserts? Is there. Do you think so? Let's wait for it. Did you right. put a reference somewhere with the on it? Yeah. Where'd you put it? Well, <clears> one's yeah, floating around somewhere, it. and there's another one. I on tried it out uh, here. Wait. Mm -hmm. Can work. But yeah, the US Army took them out. No, I don't see putting a camel at your factory location in your home country out. because the camel would not appear on the bore up, up here. Well, right? I yeah. think that would show up where the, the dudes are. Well, okay, yeah, you, you think they'd go down to the desert and buy the camels and start riding them? I said, yeah, on the printer. Uh, camels need to be What's basically on? like an option in. With, the, in? with the man. And on. Which is what I would think. So maybe, maybe you spend it's okay. three for an infantry plus one in the colonial and then maybe plus another three for the camel or something. I don't know. You have some take That's down. too much for a camel when a cavalry costs three. Okay. Two? Okay. I don't know. What I want, what, so it costs you five to put an infantryman in a camel here. Sorry, it's still six. Okay, I'm gonna put some quick references six. here behind these guys. Good. Um, but we're, how are we gonna decide where the camels go on the board? Because you wouldn't no put idea. a camel on on, your on desert. On desert. I would say brand desert. new. Uh, you gave it to the developer. Told terrain. to render it out, right? Yeah, sleep on this. Desert give me, give me an answer in the morning. <clears throat> One lump or two. Yeah. 
Oh, now these are <laughs> double sided. Never mind. Right. Apparently, they have camels in Tulsa, though. We, we saw one. We have visual proof. Yeah. 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 Hey, so I should be fine, right? Okay, so here's, here's for the live here's streamers. Some, we were driving here. We saw a some, camel. Some of this stuff. There's another here. quick reference for you guys to look at and have questions. And so, if a dreadnought costs twenty, am I supposed to just divide that? Uh, yeah, just divide it by six or whatever the total is. We need to redo the. Cost. So, is that money I get from um, the U.S. available this term? No. Plug into base. Okay. And it's two for research again, right? One, I believe. Oh, just one? Is it say, oh, it should say on there. Bad monkey. Look at you. Okay. Can't buy a tank. Okay. No, never ever it. put it on the map. Who are you looking for? Um, I was looking for the answer to. That's like question. chemical warfare. Yeah. If it would have been over here, that would have been spot on. Except that's what the British were using, fighting with key. Our transports multi, multi stage. No. Well, it it's got them on stage two, so it looks like that's two stages. Yeah. yeah. Oh, do they? Yeah. Well, it might be true. Yep, they're on uh, they're on the um, second one there. Oh yeah. So divide by two. All right. In Italy's neutral. Austria is not. How do we influence neutrals? Um, influence thing, you can pay one IPP to roll on the influence table. You might want to do that also, Doug. What's that? So you might want to do diplomatic influence. What's the cost? One? Uh, one. And so you just roll the dice and then whatever's on there you collect? Or you, you switch it over to yours? You have a, a chart here where you move on um, this today where you where you move your guys along there yeah all right where's the research table um, it's in your reference, sheet uh, reference quick reference sheet over there that have research tables on them um you want Okay, I'm ready. No. I got one here. Uh, okay, I'm ready. Okay. So I've now got, you're gonna make your combat. I've got infantry, I've got colonial infantry, a sub, and I've got three diplomatic rolls. Okay, so, so Doug, you go ahead and make your diplomatic rolls. Which which nations are you gonna roll Spain. for? Spain. Okay. Can I do all Spain? What, what do you mean? Um, no, just one, one per. Oh, no, it's like one each. One Argentina. On Max roll uh, one per country. Yeah. Okay. Global war. And then one Spain. So and it's two per. And one Mexico. Oh, uh, one he said. Oh, one per research roll. So do Mexico. I got a twelve. Mexico, there's nothing on it. Nope. What'd you roll? Oh no, there's Mexico over here. Mexico, nope. Argentina, eight. No. And Spain. No. And what do you have to roll? One or two or three. Well, you can tell me to roll low. I would no, roll Doug, high. Doug, you would have grabbed these other dice. <laughs> okay. But the men own uh, a lot. Uh, attacking, etc. Want me to get out of your way here? Yeah, you can, you can be on this. Yeah. Same rules. Is, um, how do, how does the war start? Because it's it started. Yeah, but who are at war? Everyone is at war except for the United States. Um, and I know I'm not blind with Britain. Yeah, you should be. It's you start at war. So 
So Russia, everyone starts at war except for the Ottoman Empire and the USA. And okay. Italy. No, there's no Italy, no China. Yeah. And no, but everyone else is at war. And so there is no so road to write, war. I should write U.S. In, or I mean, uh, UK in here. What does it say? Just with France and Russia. That's the start of the game, France, Russia. Well, I am France. Oh, yeah, yeah. So it should um, be it should be UK Russia. Yeah. Obviously, or white. Yeah. Well, some of these people are different races. Yeah, when you get down near the you get down in here, they're they're all different ethnicities, Bob. So neutrals are one <laughs> IP team. Yeah. Yes. All right. See, that's our version of a. 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 Yeah. A. Is that right? Yeah. Yo. A. Anyways. No. Um, Good. <clears throat> so neutral as uh, research is one, and there's think, no limit, right? Well, one per type. Yeah, one per type, yeah. but there's no limit. I could I could research you, six types if I wanted you, to. You, you, you can just go crazy. I will. Um, uh, and I dropped it just because I feel like that's the way we're we're going. Is and we could go research right away. You said? Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. Um, I cut 20 pages off the rules. So much easier. All right. So, Doug, are you attacking? Doing any attack? So, Frenchman, what do you think? Yeah. I'm gonna, any, we, anything we, you would we, like to we see? Gotta see what, we got to see what we got to see with the man. The man, oh, he's he's going to be typical. He's he's going to do what? Oh, he's going after the Misha. He's, he's doing what all Germans I get to use my post on them there, yeah? Yeah. yeah your what you do is you throw it. If you can knock something over, then. Who's, sec who's the next player up after this? Do we have this? It's down there on it's the bottom. Me. Oh, oh, Britain, yeah. That's why Let's I've been see bugging what he does you. First. That's why I've been bugging you with questions, right? Yeah, good. I'm ready. I've, I've got oh, my purchase. Well, I've yeah. just got to do what research and tech. Um, on your turn. <laughs> cavalry is That's an infantry like class unit except for transport. Yeah, because you're well, getting. Because um, right you're my friend. You're getting Bismarck. That would um, make me Bismarck. Actually, please. you're getting von Schlieffen right now. There's. So um, do you want to move your von um, Turpitz, right? your guy into here? Admiral von Turpitz. Uh, I think so. 24. Von Schlieffen had the plan 20. that Helmut von Mulkey implemented. Poorly, because the Schlieffen plan was against mm -hmm. France. Turpitz, he had the well, idea of the dreadnoughts. Here's my, the my Schlieffen plan was here. against. See how, how it turns out. I'm not, I'm not buying this. Though. I need to move that sub down. It's not buying the sub. You're not paying so, attention either, dude. So we're moving it up, one, Doug. No. So, it so Doug, one of the oh, things you can do, back. just so you know. No, I'm moving it up. Oh. So you're going to the deployment box. Well, so the shipyard is where you put yep. stuff on. Mm -hmm. Where you put ships on. There's uh oh just the blue ones. If I sink it, they're blue be and white. The, uh, the white ones can do anything. The blue ones can do capital ships. What was and that? anything? The else. same thing as the other game. The um, Doug, do you want to move this guy into here so we are yeah. we're together? Sure. Okay. Uh, the Friedrich Carl together again. I put this ship here after reading this whole account of this friends. this one getting chased all over by the British and then eventually making it up it was one battleship but it made it up into the um i'm going to shoot these uh artillery into this okay so you could so without making an attack you can make an attrition attack across the and do front. i get to roll back um no you would think that you would roll cannons back if you had some because you'll do that on your you're trying to counter on that see. is there a target selection on that uh, artillery attrition a player in lieu of making an attack May only attack with artillery against infantry in a trench line on the other side. The I don't have a trench line. One round, the defending player may not fire back, and unless they have counter battery fire technology. I don't have a trench line. I've only got four guys there. So you got to research counter. Okay, that's true. So you could just attack. Um, if he has more guys, uh, you could, which is what happened in World War Two. Uh, but he does not have it formed yet because he does not have six and five minutes there. Wanted to. Oh, so pansy. So okay, so you could transport. Sense if you have the trench line. Uh, Are you going to go into Russia? Yeah. Then 
you'll you'll keep people engaged. I'm gonna see free Carl uh, there. It's connected here, so I can use these three dreads to do shoreboard vomit. Do they do shoreboard vomit on here? No, yeah. Only if you're doing an amphibious invasion yeah, at the same I've time. I've got a transport. So, but you're only two. gonna get one shot because you only have one transport. Wouldn't it be two if you had two there's units no, getting off the transport? Right. That's the old, that's the 36 yeah. rule. As the that's units right. as you're dropping right. off. Yeah. So if you drop off two, you can do two. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Coastal artillery fires and on the first round of combat on a one to one basis with land units. Yes, you're right. That are up there attacking. You're free. Is that a dreadnought? Pre pre dread. Is your is your role? He's got dread, a dreadnought here too. This corner is he's on. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's got uh, all this coming in. Those are out, right? Their yeah. artillery is yeah. going in. Okay. Um, Where's see. your militia? Hand on. In my dog. In my shandong. So there, a lot and there. there'll be Aww. another infantry going in as well. Yeah, I see. Okay. So you, you know two amphibious. One infantry. Yeah. Yesterday. So you're yeah. coming into Lithuania. Uh, yeah. All right. With, it would be uh, the kind of thing that, like, oh, you bet. He's, he's he's able to can we see this on the camera one? one? Over yeah. Lithuania. Significantly. Right. All right. We're <laughs> to the idea. I, I, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm about to eat a thing or two about messing with Russia here. All right. Yeah. Don't be surprised if you got a revolution. Right. Yeah. Three or four periods, but you just do Can and should. I'm telling you, Belgium's laughing at you. Go set up the 36. I can see it. I'll wait till next. Time. And, you okay, know, yeah, a colony here. Oh, oh, everything out there. Yeah, it's killing. Yeah. Cruiser moves how far? Three, two. How far does a cruiser move? Uh, I think yeah. everything's two, but I could be wrong. Because of what move things move, a dread is two, a pre dread is one. Cruiser's two, and everything else is two. Three dread is one. Three dread is one. Four months? That's all they can go? What do you think, designers? I'm just wondering because there's so many and oceans, though, are we? You, so you, you do have strategic, strategic moves. Close. You have strategic moves. And you got strategic moves. Yeah, and you, got strategic yeah. moves. And you have... Um, Let's just try the two, see what we think. Let's try it, well, and, see, it before. and see what happens. I was thinking, you know, like no. crossing oceans and stuff. It's gonna be a problem for him for sure. Now, if if you are if you want this game to extend further in time, you should keep the oceans. I think. I'm not saying change the oceans. I'm talking about uh, go two spaces or three spaces with naval units. Well, you got the you got the um, ports too that are gonna go. Well, that's so I got two, I'm send you away. Have two pre dreads, uh, turbo armor. Okay, one, one hit. hit. So that's immediate, yeah. yeah um, one. Yeah. Where are you? Lithuania. Okay. And he doesn't get a shot back. Like 36. Oh. Not, not for coast, not for artillery. Not for turbo bar. Send two artillery. Um. So wait, you can't. Maybe yeah. if they attack with artillery, or oh, are you? Okay. One, right. the other one. The one hit. So does uh, he... artillery first strike, I believe. Does he take uh double casualty on the amphibious thing? Yes, but his um his artillery is first strike as well as his sword bombardment. Thanks for coming, Misha. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> so um he made sure so, work of you. So the artillery cleared me out before his guys even landed then, right? Yeah, the yeah, the bombardment and the artillery. Yeah, because uh, that would take place before land combat round one. And then the yeah, artillery would have first strike on round one. So yeah. um you are cleared out there. What does that work? Five? Nothing. Just, so, just, so we uh, take one over that says one. Your 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 manpower is down one. Purely up manpower. Up? What? Is this go up? No, you don't get manpower for captured zone. Okay. Um you get manpower if you align a zone. Okay. Forty one to forty now. Yeah. yeah. Which I've still got a high number. It's yeah, not a, you've got, you've got the, more than you'll ever use. The naval battle. You have a, a number. You got a number, buddy. Yeah. A uh, number what? Let me get one of your infantry and I'll put it on that 40. Oh, okay. Hey, yeah. that's not a bad idea. Don't take any crap from Captain, Captain Plastic here. Yeah. Um, Come at me, friend. 
That's a good so, name for you, Doug. Well, Captain Plastic. Uh-huh. That's the right That's the world. Two one dreads. Uh, That's your eight. It, it, it never actually got it. I got one. Two. 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 You guys seen yep. the ones he pre printed? And yeah. then I've got uh, Dark Tank. Tank. I've got like four. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. Nope. There'll be an expansion in a bit. Yes. Coastal Sub. So. Oh, you were coming at me? No, it's going it's to be inside. Why is that? International rules, man. It's got to be inside. You guys like extending games. Man. Nope. <laughs> we're not, we're not we're in like Canada. We like it when you hit the dice break. I just roll it. He, he, uh, he whittled me down one in Spain doing that yesterday, too. But I was like, well, okay. Um, Let's see here. So You lost two. You're, you're coming in here right now, yeah? Yeah. Oh, what about my coastal gun? Isn't that preemptive? Did you not start with a um? That, that's only when there's an amphibious assault. Did you not right? start with, with a, a dirigible? Or are you bombing using it to bomb? Yeah. With a, uh, is with that your that's London? London. I'm gonna start with one. I think. So, well, um, yeah, my coastal. Should he have used? Uh, there's no uh, amphibious. Like they just out in here. No, it only defends against. Only if they come close. Only if they only if they are coming into shore. Yeah. Um, this guy looks pretty close. <laughs> <laughs> you, can't, oh. you can't port your ships, right? You, you can't okay, port they, your ships. I've thought for years about that was uh, my big pre dreadnought. I got another pre dreadnought. What is the uh, one? Oh, five. Five. Uh, That's a hit, yeah. Yeah. And um, Frank my had about uh, coastal stuff. 37 of them okay, operating at a hits. coastal station. So, two each, guys. And the UK, I don't know what they had. You or put it on the yeah. um, these tip? Uh, there must have been something they had. I don't, uh, I don't, I can't recall the numbers. Off, no, off. just just dreadnoughts are, are capital. Okay, the pre dreadnoughts are, are, are not. Okay, so uh, one and two, and you took your two, Doug? Yep. Yes, you did. All right, keep going. I gotta wait. He could get a first strike, right? Two no, drags. That's only on the first. And the cruiser. Yeah. Uh, nothing. Okay, all right. I can't so right my now, dread now. Dread now. Um, I know France has thirty-seven. Crazy. That's all I remember. Okay. Whoa, so how come you using this sub? Why do they use it? Yeah. So why, 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 not, why not use the regular sub? Because that's a coastal sub. Okay. There's a difference in this game? Yeah. Coastal I, subs I didn't, and I regular didn't see subs. any coastal subs in here. Well, okay, if you're going to... Did you have a coastal sub? It's a sub, it's sub, it's yeah. sub, it's a coastal sub. I did have a coastal sub. No, we'll have to put a marker on it. Just to see if there is. Um, I'm done. For now. Okay. I'm going to... I've got this to put here. Is it charged just like the other? Yeah, like, yeah. 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 there should be yeah. more to it than that. Not my permission. I'm declaring war for two. with the Russians. Coastal subs in You want me to grab one over there? I'm just going to use a marker. Yeah. Because yeah. I know a place where I can get them. Do we have a diplomacy sub? Yeah. Uh, is this the entire uh, thing? Yes. This is all the technology? Mm -hmm. All right. There's a lot more. You know, it's the, um, well, I was, yeah, I was going to set it up right here up next to the mic. I don't know where it went. Okay. We've got room over there? Yeah. Sure. Can you let me put it here? Thank you. Well, no, it's just double sided. It's going to be um, people. I'm just going to write on it. So what's this small parenthesis? That means they've already got that level? Yeah. Yeah, it's like a rondelle. 
Yeah. With that American um, money lending thing, you could have a sheet made up like a, you know, some kind of graph. Right, a tracking sheet. Yeah. And then people can just print it off yeah, themselves so they can just so. write on it and then throw that one away after that game. They'll print, print a bunch of them off of themselves. Okay, next up. UK. Big Bob is in the house. Try not to go for the same ones because then. Well, see, they're already pro British, right? Oh, okay, so, there you go. Yeah. So all I got to do is Two be more. successful twice, right? Mm -hmm. And then there's, you'd mentioned Brazil. Brazil's kind of pro US. Let me see who else is pro British. See if there's any the French ones. Didrid. Oh, yeah, there's a ton. There's the Netherlands. There's. Uh, well. No, there's Netherlands. I thought there were more. And there's oh yeah, Portugal, Romania. That's nice. Portu so maybe, Portugal should have a dreadnought. Brian, where's your focus though? Oh, uh, it's read. Uh, actually, I think there's two of them. So, since I'm rolling towards there. Brazil, I have to get them off neutral, right? I have to get them off of. Now, do you have? This is considered your neutral level here? Yeah, with their I, name? yeah, yeah, we're going to do the neutral. I mean, I just wrote it at the top. I changed it to be as much like yours as I can. That's good. Well, actually, you could be making a 14 versus. Yeah, I could. Three, three British rolls in the summer of 17? What freaking year is it? It's not 17. The summer of 14. Go for Greece. Greece, no go. And um, the thing about Belgium is, is I think he's just going to invade him anyway. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm not going to roll against Belgium. I'm going to go. I'm going to shoot with the rest of my five against uh, ten. 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 So ten. Uh, what are few ships? Few ships are submarine hunters, submarine chasers, kind of stuff. Uh, I remember correctly, uh, this would be a 6 uh, 
good as uh, four what? four time accounting. What's your inter ally cooperation? Inter ally cooperation. Or coordination. Yeah, what kind of value do you think that? Do you think we could uh, just have a quick readout of the the weapon for us and for the people online here? Um, so we know sure. what we're I'm going to assume it's the same. So. Yeah. Yes. No. Missed it by one. All right. Okay. So we've got um, the, the different things that you can develop. Tanks. Um, you can purchase tanks once that they're once they're there. That's a tank technology. And tanks help you break trench lines. Hurricane bombardment allows concentrated fire to break through trench lines. If you have six or more artillery, you can extend... Um, you can you can get two rounds of combat versus the trench line instead of one. So normally in your attack and trench line, okay. one round. Or you do. Yeah. Okay. Uh, counter battery fire. Um, uh, to the attrition fire of one side by firing back. With all the. Uh, yeah. It hits on a one. But it takes artillery as a casualty. So it destroys enemy artillery specifically. Frost Poopin are German um, only. Um, they pair with uh, another land unit to extend the round limit to three against the trench line. Why are they German only? Mm, I don't know. Doug, Doug wanted them in the game, so I put them in there. Yeah, but why would they? Because it's just, well, the Germans the German had them. They started them. They started them, but like the U.S. Oh, no. Do the U.S. have them too? Should oh, we, yeah. Do we have Germany? That's where they come in, the 1980s. Yeah, but that doesn't mean other nations can't get smart, right? Yeah. I mean, you give Germany a head start on them? Yes. Then you oh, they already have a head start. They have a huge head start. They have a huge start on them, but anybody can develop them. Yeah, yeah. I mean, all, oh all it boils yeah. down to is tactics. Uh, tactics and weapons. Uh, so... All right, so depth charges and hydrophones, escorting ships are plus one versus submarines on your opposed rolls. Destroyers get target plus from one to two. Uh, enemy submarines lose first strike against your combat. Two ships were armed with uh, lure submarines to the surface where they could be killed. Um, convoys attacked by a submarine have a one defense factor, kind of like advanced ASW. Submarine Doctrine, submarines get plus one convoy rating roll. Convoy system, escorts add plus one to the convoy rating roll. Defense in depth, the player needs four infantry to create a trench line. Trench railways, a small gauge railway provides increased supply to the front line. The player may place supplies markers on the board where there is a trench line marker. Now we have a covered supplies marker, so they, they give your infantry a bonus. I mean, your artillery a bonus. It's like extra shells and stuff. Uh, Interrupter gear fighters may um, get a free attack against retreating units. Pick their target in combat. Actually, one of the reasons I couldn't do the diplomacy for it now is I need a copy of. I need to know everything. I could do it for you if you want. The uh, okay, so well, there's wartime economy, improved industry, increased factory output, improved shipyards, makes your ships cost less, improved recruitment. Um, gives you more manpower, improved logistics, uh, more strategic naval movement, and enterprise coordination. Um, now, start of each calendar, you're able to attack on the turn. So, these units remain property of your ally forever. So, got some so questions. I think the, the numbers mean. So, with the uh, interrupter gear, is that like a I think it's when, I think it allows you, if, if your allies, if somebody's retreating, you get target plus one as they retreat, retreat and they break, they come break the retreating column. Oh, I think that was like in the movie Flyboys, they had a scene like that. <laughs> hey, and, so. And they get a, a permanent attack one. Permanent attack, permanent plus one attack defense for fighters. Hey, Will. Yeah. Um, so, if. If I've got just a quick one, that yeah. someone is playing with the sound, sound video is very impossible to hear. And okay. like, mm, sound. Last time, all we did, yeah. How's it now? When we whacked the camera, it's getting fixed. Is the sound fixed now that I want the camera? 
No, yes, yesterday we had the same problem and I actually moved it and something, so it may be a connection or a loose wire, it could be any number of things. So. Alright, let's move it. Okay, so that's a quick thing could on technologies. You may want to take that connection just to make sure somebody doesn't. Mm -hmm. Hey, Will, so. Yes. Where? Where there's a in. green factory. Yeah. So you can build well, infantry. Sure. Well, actually, you can build one infantry. Well, you can build. They cost two outside your home. Any better, Morton? They cost what? I think so, yeah. Two outside your home country. Plus two? No. I mean, sorry, plus one more. They cost four. Okay. So they would cost four there. Okay, well, then that goes on all on its own. No, it's on its own. Okay. Oh. Okay. So, um, I'm out, just outside the home country, that wouldn't be territory. Can you build infantry and capture territory at the higher point? Are the Ottomans at war at this point? Not no. Not you can build one. You can you can build one men tower per turn if you if there is one there. No matter how many they are. You can actually build more men tower. Like three outside the. You could steal horses. Who's, who's, is this me? Also, class that? in the tenth century, it costed one IPP. Let's see. So yeah. So you can build was, infantry, cavalry. Did you yeah. all yours up? Yeah, I did. But, I mean, it was a mix. It's a mix. Hey, so, um, Austria-Hungary at war. Oh. I'm all for it. laughing at you. I fart in your general direction. I don't know what to do. Not that you're just playing. You just start laughing at him? Mr. Auto Man? I'm a peep. I'm a pizza fan. No, your partner's not out. Right? Take it and whack it against the wall. That's part of my pressure. Sure. Um, okay, so I got two things going on here. Um, how much to develop weapons? Two? I think we just dropped it to one. Okay, one. Yeah, that works. So one for influence and one to develop weapons. Okay. I think I'm on the way. 